the indicators that I first started to notice in Kate, um, her moods begin to change. And we went from this picture-perfect family to a daughter who resented us. She would uh, distance herself from us as much as possible. So we started talking, months and months passed by. I started sneaking out to parties with him and he would introduce me to a lot of his male friends and I started getting like red flags. And again, I wasn't aware, but I was literally walking into sex trafficking. I was at the gates of it and had no idea that sex trafficking even existed. I got a call one early February morning, and it was this boy. He called to tell me that Kate was in trouble. And I said, what are you talking about? She's upstairs sleeping. And he said, no, she's not. She's at a party, and she's drunk, and she's high, and she needs your help. I was with all these old men. But all I saw was they thought I was pretty. They thought I was cute. They gave me attention. I started drinking, I was under the influence by many drugs, and I, I, I was sex trafficked that night. I remember blacking out after a couple days of running around with them and just honestly feeling like I would never be found. I was stuck in that lifestyle. All I wanted to do was self-medicate. I didn't want to feel anything. I didn't want to remember anything. So I would use and use until I'd forget about what happened. And I lost faith in my family. And this was just the second day of being gone. I didn't think they would find me. I didn't think anyone would find me who would look for me. And when she went missing, I knew deep down inside that she needed me to find her. And I was going to find her. When I was found, I was in the process of being sent to a whole other area, whole other state. I remember almost getting into the car and then seeing blue lights and squad cars and I remember seeing my mom again. I went to another hospital in Richmond. While I was there I of course met my detective and um, he helped me through a lot. That what I went through did matter and then I started realizing oh this is what I went through. This is what this is called. So What's your message to parents? How can they protect their daughters and sons? I think the first step is understanding that human trafficking is a real problem here in the United States, that it's not something that's going to go away. And, you know, the age range from children is anywhere from 9 to 19, uh, with the average age of being 11. These captors will use the children's, uh, will groom them for six, eight, 10 months at a time. And if they have the resources to groom these children, then we should have the funds and resources to help combat it.